Hello there, this anonymous oracle here with a pop-in collective message. I hope you guys are doing well. This is going to be a collective reading. So this reading may or may not resonate with you. It is not time specific or sign specific. So please take the messages that apply and simply leave the rest. Judging by the title, this is a different reading. Um, <laughs> I was at the grocery store and there was this was purely my inspiration for just checking in on that because I was just like, what are these two girls doing? I was at the grocery store, y'all, and I was in an aisle where you have like, I guess like gardening stuff and like more so garage stuff. And then there was like this part where there were candles, okay? <clears throat> and I saw these two young girls. I wouldn't give them beyond like the age of 16 and 17 or maybe even younger than that. And I just knew what they were going to like. I just had this very overwhelming feeling. Um... They were looking at this candle and then they were talking to each other. I don't know. It was just kind of on the hush. It looked very suspicious. And I don't like profiling people, but the way they were dressed, like my, my intuition too just said, those are two little witches. I said, what are they doing this weekend? <laughs> I was like, what are you doing? What are you up to? Um, mm, so <laughs> I guess it's like a phase, you know, when... Some people have like this emo face, like they looked a little bit like that. And then like that, that candle in hand, I said, uh, 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 what are y'all on? Uh-huh. So I obviously just walked by and I was like, mm -hmm. <laughs> and I felt the need to pull a reading on it. Okay, let's see what the holly hollow weirdos are up to this season when it comes to their intentions, because <laughs> it's a full moon, y'all. The only intentions I'm putting out is to protect my energy, my space, my heart, my home. Yeah. <laughs> but I was like, just so curious. And then it made me think of this deck. This is a very strange deck. It is not a actual deck deck. It is a playing card deck for a game. Um, something about the fles. It's a Dutch game. The magische fles. Something about a magical bottle. Okay. It's kind of like a genie in a bottle. But I got intuitive messages from this a long time ago. I think this was like before I started this channel. It's a very fun little deck. It has, um, I feel like a Dutch dis depi depiction and, and, a, and a, a Dutch description and a, and a French description, excuse me. So I'm gonna try um, to use this just for ish and giggles if anyone is interested to see what the hollow, hollow weirdos are up to, okay. And um, obviously, I mean, I used to be into dressing up, but then seeing how it's a pagan holiday, I don't really get into it anymore, you know? I just feel a lot of people use this holiday to take advantage of kids too, and I just like, it's like, hide your kids, hide your wife type of times, okay? Just saying, it's just, I don't know. I don't celebrate it anymore, and I never really celebrate it for the reason other than to dress up, right? So... But yeah, sis is staying in. <laughs> I'm not going to any parties. Let's see. I probably like when I have kids, I'll make it into like a pajama and Netflix kind of night. Like we'll just get matching pajamas or something. Like that's what I would do. <laughs> and we'll have a lot of candy at home. Like that's what I would do. We have the number four. Whoa. Oh, stop. Y'all. Mm. So 444 four, four is a beautiful number for protection, right? Look at this card. 444. Four, four. Some of you could have had a dream of losing your teeth. I don't know why, but I'm like getting that a little bit in this card. I'm already getting a little uncomfortable. Mm-hmm. I feel like somebody is giving something to a person who looks a little dis disheveled, if that's the right word. Something feels like an exchange. Something feels like a person needs to give something of themselves to make something happen. <clears throat> mm -hmm. 33, 33 could also be a number. I want to know if there is a description for this card. 
because it's like some of the cards come with little written stories. I'm very curious if it has one. It does. No, wait. I spoke too soon. Does it have one? Hmm. I'm not seeing it yet, but let's see. Let's continue. Let's see where this goes. The only hope that I now have is to find the same flask to find it, while I was so glad to have him to be. So in in <laughs> translation, it says the only hope that I now have is to find the same bottle. Whilst at first I was so happy to be rid of it. The young man from Beritanistrat, that's a street, fell on his knees. Please buy the bottle, he begged. So the young, the young man from Beritanistrat viel op zijn knieën. Alstublieft koop de fles, smeekte hij. So, I'm seeing something here about this magical bottle, right? There's something here that a person initially wanted to get rid of, but now it's like he's begging to get it in his possession again. Mm -hmm. And there's someone here who's like, please just purchase this bottle. It almost feels like a curse, okay? Because this, this, the story behind the bottle is a curse. I feel like someone here could have done something and it's like it, they sacrificed far too much for it, okay? That's what it feels like. And it's like now they wish to be rid of something, okay? In a nutshell, it's giving me that vibe. Let's see what the tarot has to say. Like when you think of your teeth, like you, you only have the one in your head, <laughs> like the ones in your, in your head, right? I feel like somebody here could have, get, have, have has given up quite a bit of themselves, maybe sacrificed a lot to make something come to pass. And now it's like the same thing they wanted so badly once upon a time. They want to be rid of something. Yeah. I'm <clears throat> seeing nine swords. Okay. Where is this going to go? The 13th, the 20th, or the 4th of any month could be of significance. Maybe April 20th, April 13th, 13th could be of significance. Dang. So I'm just seeing this vibe of like, is somebody here, something cost them too much. Maybe now they're in like a, a dip. There's some kind of an exchange here. This person could be regretting. What's the overall energy? <clears throat> Ten pentacles. Oh, wow. This person wanted it all. Okay. <laughs> Ten pentacles. We have justice and judgment. There's something big happening here. Something could affect someone's sense of stability, their future. With justice and judgment, those are universal cards. That's like where the divine and karma intervene. We have six of swords, strength. Something here is changing. Something here is under judgment when it comes to a person's future. I'm very curious to where this reading is going to go because I feel like someone here sacrificed a lot for something there's something sacrificial when i see this man like <clears throat> i don't know he, he looked like he missing his teeth and that looks like a tooth okay we'll see where this goes ten of pentacles that's legacy family future and abundance all in one where is this going? Justice. I'm telling you, something is going to happen here. Something is karmic in nature. So whether this is good or bad karma, it's like it's happening. It's fair and balanced. But there's like there, there are consequences. This, this feels like consequences for divine balance. Now, my question is what happens in that? Tell me more about justice. It's like somebody here called somebody's attention. We have the sun, fair outcome, happy outcome for someone. Or I don't know, this to me feels like the divine is happy with, with how things are going to play out here. 
What is this justice? We have a crooked queen of cups. Okay. Okay. I'm seeing somebody paid for something. Remember how I saw that exchange? Here you see a hand and somebody putting something in it or taking from it. And here you see a hand and somebody wanting to give and receive. There has been an exchange made. The minute this person did something, they signed up for something. The Hierophant is here. It's like a commitment. This could also be some kind of a practitioner of a sorts or some kind of like, I don't know. It's, it's, this person seems like a big deal in their community. The Hierophant usually is, right? When I have a Queen of Cups, it's kind of funny, right? It's like this person isn't really emotionally balanced when it came to this decision. With the Two of Pentacles, that just confirms that this person wasn't really balanced to begin with when doing this. Somebody here could have done something to secure their sense of happiness. This person could have even celebrated this, or there could have been a third party or a friend or a family member that encouraged this. What did they want? What was the intention? This intention was set out on perhaps a masculine and a feminine with the nine swords something here it was supposed to affect two people it was supposed to affect two people this could be in business this could be a masculine who's either a businessman a husband or a father and the queen of swords is usually a very like intelligent person this could be in business or in family like i don't know who this is but the nine swords hmm? Why is the Nine Swords here? Why did this person want someone in their head? It's, it almost reads like either one of these people could affect this person's future. With the Ten of Pentacles, it's like, yeah, this could affect my family. This could affect my money. This could affect my stability. This could affect my future. Someone here saw either one of these two people or both of these people as a direct threat to their abundance. Nine Swords, it's like a lot of tormenting thoughts, nervousness, and paranoia centered around these people. And with the Hanged Man, I'm telling you, there was something sacrificed for this. Yeah, I don't know what they did. Something is a high price to pay. For some of you, someone here is like, with this King of Swords energy, there could be like a legal battle a person did this for. Because when I get Justice, Hierophant, to me that's like, could be court related stuff or a contract related things king and queens of swords can definitely be lawyers someone did something for a favorable outcome even where like court is considered or their money or their future and and either this man or this woman or both have something to do with that or can affect that in some way shape or form and out of worry and fret for their ten of pentacles which is what this is all about right this person did something. <clears throat> How did that go? Hanged man. This person's waiting on it. <laughs> the three of wands is like expecting one's ship to come in. This person is still waiting on this, guys. I feel this is like an actual thing, like a moment, momentary thing. The star is one's wish and intention. That's also destiny, though. This person's waiting on whatever this is. They paid for it. They did things for it. Don't worry about this waiting person. Eight of Cups.
For me, this looks like a bit of a meditative state. Yeah, this is a meditative state. This person could be hermiting right now. Whomever this is. With the strength card to me this um oh, i don't even want to go there y'all yes it felt almost ritualistic y'all it's like hermit mode strength meditation third eye opening like you can see it the strength card and then i get the devil this is a hollow weirdo no judgment but what are you doing with this <laughs> Temperance Angel, usually when I get the goat man, it's like it's a different thing. This person is praying to. Um, so. This person is doing this also with a high priestess. This person is taking action. This high priestess is probably helping them. This is maybe a seer. This is family. Wow. Whoever is helping them could be family or friends. They might be in a relationship with this person. But y'all, you know what I'm seeing? They're fighting with destiny. The five of wands is a struggle. The wheel of fortune, it's like, do you see this thing carrying this clock? They're fighting, pulling, it's like pulling teeth to get their way when it comes to destiny, universe, the universe, its wishes. With eight swords, I feel like this person is kind of like in this state of paranoia because they're going against the green in some way. To me, it just reads like you're fighting with change. You're fighting against the wheel of karma. You're fighting against change. Okay. Seven of Cups. This person could feel very confused now. Something about this reads like, well, I need to find another method or another method. The Seven of Cups is like options, but you see how this person looks like they're in quicksand or this puddle of water. And it's like, something about this person feels like they're running out of resources. Do you remember how I said it looks like this person gave up their tooth, y'all? It's like they're running out of resources. They're running out of like, <laughs> it's like I have these amount of wishes. I have these desires. Yeah, I'm telling you, this is a pra This person is either they manifest themselves, like they actually do magic, or they're asking somebody to do it. And it's like, well, I'll do this. Well, if that doesn't work, I'll try this. And it's just like, I feel like the illusion is that something is going to change when really they're sacrificing more of themselves because they're fighting with something that is fated to occur. So it's almost like it doesn't matter how much they go against it, it'll happen. Whatever it is they're going against, like I don't know what it is. Either someone was meant to stick around, y'all, or someone was meant to have this life, or someone was meant to have this situation unfold. The Five of Wands is very weak compared to the Wheel of Fortune. It's like this person can set out these intentions, maybe even verbally, but it gets rejected. Four of Cups. Four of Cups is a rejection. Knight of Swords is like quick action. Like this person speaks out what they want per instructions, probably. But it's like, same way this person, like, teeth is out. Listen. Something just feels strange. It's almost like the joke is on them because they're giving an arm and a leg to see something come to pass, not realizing that it's a lose-lose battle here. Because there's something about what they want specifically going against the divine. And it's something they're doing on people. Two people. A, a queen of swords and a king of pentacles. This person is hexing two people or 
in trying to ma manipulate two people is better is better what i'm trying to say tell me more about this person i have them trapped they're not going anywhere for some of you something has a has to do with a binding spell i over medicate to escape from my issues you see how certain things are like starting to affect this person they're 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 now in this like haze of numbing themselves over medicating because they're in this state of i feel like this is this is what they're going through Par i wanted to say state of paranoia do you want to see what's at the bottom of the deck i am paranoid that they are leaving me for you i don't know what they're paranoid about but it's like a detachment there's something here that's old okay you see the foundation back there I wanted to say they're in a state of paranoia. I'm paranoid. This person's paranoid not to get their way. It has something to do with that Ten of Pentacles they envisioned. And you know what the funny thing is? Like, imagine that this person was destined to have exactly that, God-given. But because they're doing it in such a, like, they're trying to secure it, rather, in such a corrupt way by binding others not just one two people there's something this person has done to two individuals and i'm gonna pull on these two people separately because i feel like there's a reason why this is backfiring it's like imagine they had it's like imagine in their in their what was meant for them it was supposed to be beautiful la da da they're too busy corrupting someone else's destiny or trying to like micromanage their own in such a way that they're losing out on themselves. I really feel this person is depleting themselves. Physically, they're doing either drugs or alcohol excessively, all to keep someone in a state of like control. I throw tantrums to get my way. You, you see, this is an energy that loves to get their way. This person could be having emotional outbursts. Temperament issues. They do this anonymously. For some of you, they cloak themselves when they do this. Or they ask someone else to do their dirty work. Yeah, the clock is in the reverse. Their, their time is up here. So I said... I pointed it out, it's the universe that's carrying this time. They thought they bought themselves more time, but really they just took from themselves. I can't be bothered with the truth. This person has been in denial for a very long time. This is someone who tries to fight against the flow of the divine. This stems from their insecurities, because I said it too, they're not the most stable. I also feel this person gave up a lot of money to whatever this is, and that's why they're in the Two of Pentacles. I always get what I want when I want it. I feel like they tried to manipulate a person who's very influential, maybe even financially, like, of power, because the King of Pentacles usually is, okay? This person is um, something else, y'all. Let me see if I have some more messages um i just find it sad because it's like while you're so worked up trying to control something that is not up to you to control at all this person is literally like doing the most while they're doing that it's taking away from them it depletes them there's something here this person signed up for that is kind of eerie to me I'm going to see if I can break that down. Are there any other messages? This person could be like using a seer to see if something worked. Any other additional messages regarding this very odd case? Seven Pentacles. This person spent a long time doing this. Something is also based on divine timing. This person has spent not only a lot of money, but like they've been doing this for years. <laughs> like that's what I'm, yo. Eight 
Ace of Wands. Six of Wands. I feel like this person has seen like victories over time, but the <laughs> but whatever it is they're giving thanks and praise to, something went wrong with that thing. <laughs> I'm like trying to speak in code. This reads like a deity, y'all. Yeah, they there's something either the deity or themselves feel betrayed by each other. Something with the re the relationship between them and this thing because my my angel right depending on what I'm reading, I take this as either one of the divine helpers. Sometimes it could be symbolic for patience, emotional balancing divine timing but to me in this context it can also be a lower vibrational or lower realm um energy okay i feel like there's something that went wrong here <laughs> with this dead swords uh-huh what went wrong mm. sun in the reverse six of swords high priestess this thing, whatever this is, whoever helped them, whatever it is, there's distance here. So something could have been done overseas. Something could have been requested overseas with the Six of Swords. But there is something here that went wrong with the sun in the reverse. A big deal went south. Yo, I'm telling you, whoever this helper is, the, the physical person... They made a lot of money off this person's request. I'm talking thousands. Okay, over time, Ten Pentacles. Yeah, we work together. Me and this High Priestess work together. That High Priestess slash Hierophant works with whatever this thing is flying in the ethers. And it's kind of like, I just feel something went wrong when it came to a petition or when it came to something, y'all. Tell me what the sun is. Whatever it is, it's a big deal. It's a big deal for the relationship between this and that to be completely severed, deaded, it's done. Like something here is like, no, this is a hard no. The sun in the reverse is I can't do that. I can't help with that. Why is the sun in the reverse? Eight swords, hierophant. Yes, because I feel they wanted to con keep a... Uh, a pretty high-ranked person confined. Now, the emperor, good luck keeping an emperor in eight swords. It's not destined for either an empress or an emperor to be in eight swords. Not forever. It's, it's who. It's not what, it's who they did it to. Something got rejected. Something bounced back. Can I get an animal card to confirm what I'm feeling? This is a big deal, y'all. <laughs> it's like you thought. For some of you, you're this emperor, right? Good on you. <laughs> People are funny. Yes. Unbelievable. This person is special, y'all. And that's kind of why it's like... <laughs> I didn't really want... I just wanted one card to confirm. I got the cosmic egg. This is like one of Divine's babies. Like, you can see how the snake is wrapped around this egg, right? It's precious. Um, this symbol means that... some. Like, to me, it's a more elevated character over, like, these... 
you see how these don't have any glare this means someone here does have maybe a divine purpose maybe they're they're protected in a way that maybe reads different from others but it's almost like something here is precious to me it re when i get eggs it's like it's precious it's in you know when when it has its season before it has to hatch someone here is destined for bigger things it's a universal egg it's like a cosmic egg it's it's like a, a baby it's precious but it's like it's not just any baby right it's like somebody here thought they confiscated a snake egg when they confiscated a dragon's egg yeah two completely different creatures so this person did some bs to a divine being as they like to say it or someone with a high level purpose so it's almost like this snake coiled itself around this egg. There's a reason why someone did this to control a very powerful person. And it doesn't have to mean that they have a lot of power in the world. It means that they in spirit are very powerful and meant for bigger things. So someone <laughs> tried to get their dusty little paws and control a person who is meant for bigger things in this world. So it's like the divine has extra say in what you do here. And I'm seeing what they wanted to do three times. I have them trapped. They are not going anywhere. Eight of Swords is entrapment. And when I see this one here, I'm like, oh, I see why it backfired. This confirms it again, one card. Not only that, but the camel is incredibly resilient. It's like, it can... <laughs> withstand a lot of like like droughts and you know very endure the endurance the, the resilience in this animal is ridiculous it can travel for hours without water like for days you know it's it makes total sense it's like it doesn't matter what they did to this person they would come home to themselves eventually yeah Four of coins, hermit. This person is clutching to, you know when someone's clutching to their pearls? Now this person is, whoever this is, and I'm back to this Dan Queen of Cups. Someone here could be like clutching onto whatever they got now with this hermit cave. Who is this energy? Oh, this is someone who could be struck. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, the same person who got rejected. This first, I feel celebrated too soon, y'all. I ain't even going, even going from, I'm not, not going to try to laugh at anybody here, but it's like, what was you thinking, though? This person made a royal ass of themselves. I'm sorry, I said what I said. And I'm seeing, and I'm seeing the little camel in the distance. Like, <laughs> I've never noticed this, but spirit is cheeky like that. You see this camel trucking along. It's like, na di da di da. And this person is just sat there in a cave, so disappointed at the fact that this didn't work. And now it's like, <laughs> I ain't got, you know, what did I say? A pot to piss in or a window to throw it out of because this person. It's like they dished money in a, like this endless wormhole, giving it to such negativity. This person was so obsessive with getting something their way that it's just like, ah, oh, I feel, I don't know why, but like something has to do with family for sure with the Ten of Cups. They were obsessed either with their dream what they envisioned for themselves. For some of you, they were obsessed with having a particular relationship or love life or family life. There's something they were obsessed with. When I see the Hierophant, three swords, there's something they've committed themselves to or agreed to that has them in the tower and three swords. This is also my divine card. So it's like God card. There's something here that's gonna blow up in what this person attempted to do. Tell me more. Hmm. Hmm. 
Yes, I'm seeing here a person like slowly but surely having evolved emotionally when I see the stingray. There could be a water and earth sign here. It's this hyena that's on the prowl when it comes to these moon phases for me. It's almost like someone here is like, they're very practical. They like to build and work very hard. Um, I'm getting this vibe of someone's emotions. They've learned to navigate their emotions over time. I feel this to be one of the people who this person tried to control. Okay. And I really feel like the divine is just on this person. It's like, there's like this special card not so far away from whoever this is. Any other messages for this person in the Four of Cups? Yeah, now they're twiddling their thumb. I don't know what else to say. Here comes that same person. Look, this person... Tell me more about the Page of Cups to the King of Pentacles. The world. Somebody here might have kids for someone, which is even more effed up. It's like, why would you even think of doing this to the father or the mother of your children? I'm seeing that here. Some kind of cycle is closing out here. Someone here might want to extend themselves or offer an apology. Mm-hmm. There's also something this seer prophesized for a person. This is a different character. Someone here. Ooh. Yeah, it's like this person's waiting to see if what they did worked because I think they tried to be rid of someone as well, which is like, what are you on? And I'm just seeing like this vibe. There's something this person said that they don't really like. Tell me more about what this high priestess mentioned. Five of Wands, Death Card, Emperor. There, this person had warned them that this might not go well. That this would be a struggle. If this person may be transformed or elevated. Yeah, I feel like they warned them that something could backfire if this person had grown into themselves. This person forewarned of a backfire. It's almost like they're trying to play nice with the person they attempted to curse or control. I really do feel that. It's like they're trying to play nice. But these hidden intentions. There's something in my eye, yo. Excuse me. Not this moon again. <laughs> Y'all saw what flew out, Joe. I'm like, not on this moon again. The tower. Y'all. <laughs> This person has secured themselves like an ultimate fail if they try this yet again. Like, I'm done. Ace of Pentacles. This person, they're losing out on something. Five coins. There's some kind of like, oh, whatever this tower is, it ain't pretty. Okay? It's not. I don't know what this is. This could be like something just... This almost looks like an accident or something freakish. Ghost people. Yeah, this person could be surrounded by stuff that aids to their addictions. Um, and as I said, that level of paranoia. It's like this person is speaking to themselves with different voices. And, you know, some people speak to themselves in the mirror or they talk to themselves. It, it's not that kind okay this is something else this is a person who um, is experiencing paranormal activity okay faceless ghosts and the haunted girl yeah fill in the blanks this person is there's something off here because mm, there's something this thing didn't agree to they can't do it 
This is a hard pass. Now my, yeah, it's acting up. The tempting offer has a high price. They have a high price to pay. I'm hearing their health for one, which is not nice. Okay, we don't wish that on anyone. Their health for one. Someone's health could be going backwards. As a result of this mess, it's like this person fell for a trap. The trap was thinking that they could achieve something by going against the divine in this way. Because to me, when I see this card, it makes so much sense why so much is backfiring on this person. Because this is something special. There are many eggs in the deck, or well, very few. Um, there are many animals in the deck, but there are very few eggs and very few cards that have this, this thing on it. That tells me what time it is. <laughs> it's an extra special card. In other words, you can't really futz with it without finding out, okay? <laughs> this person futzed with something and they have a very high price to pay. Yeah, what happens to this person as a result of what they attempted to do is none of my business. Yeah, this is someone who, I don't know, it reads like a person who just refuses to hear the word no or refuses to not have something go their way because that's the only reason why I can imagine someone would want to do this to another person. It's like, do you see how manic that sounds? Yeah, it's like they don't want to hear no. Yeah, <laughs> I'll just put it back. Truly a cry for help. I believe it. Because WTF, bro. Yeah, I'm telling you. I heard pick your poison. There's something bad that's going to happen to this person. Where it's like, you. it could either go this way or that way. This person's energy at their house is not good. At that, like, it's just... It's almost like as soon as you walk in this person's place, you feel bad. Like, you just feel... Mm. And with this, is, it says I'm as toxic as they come. It's in the reverse. This person is not well. And when I think of pick your poison, yeah, what's poisonous? Alcohol can be poisonous. This person could have like a drug habit. And it's like whatever this thing is. Yeah, it's because this backfired. I resort to magic to get what I want. It backfired, y'all. And the way <laughs> this came out in this order, it's like if they dare even so much as try to do this again on this here moon, it blows up in their face. Hollow weirdos. Spell with sour. Ooh. Spell with sour. Ten swords. Hmm. The high priestess. Six of pentacles. Ugh. There's something here they might owe. It's just kind of weird. This high priestess is back. There's something this high priestess is giving. I told you so. Yeah, I don't know who this is to them. But this person is steady here. I have heavy Pisces and Scorpio out. I have this twice, y'all. This high priestess is of significance. There's something they need to pay up. I don't know how, but it's like this ten swords, this defeat, this ultimate defeat. It doesn't. It's not even a pleasant card. It's just a very dark day for somebody. Um, it's it's a way of balancing out the skills. You get what I mean? It's a way of them, that price. Like, what did the cards say about a high price? A tempting offer has a high price. I don't know why, but whoever this person is that either helped them, foretold something, or helped them with this service that they attempted to do, they knew what could come from something not working out.
tell me more about this uh, Ten Swords because I don't know what this is, but it's like. You see, these are one of these readings where the cards just like spit it out. I'm like, I want to know more about what this. <clears throat> Whatever this is, it puts an ending to this person even wanting to smell anything spell work related ever. It'll be such a bad day. This person knows why, because whoever this is warned them. It almost reads like karmic retribution, where it's like if you know or if you've been told what could happen or what you're what is what you're signing up for, I hold no what's the word accountability or responsibility for what happens to you if this goes wrong i feel like this is exactly what this person told them if this goes wrong this is all on you this person's suffering nine wands is like they're hanging in there i also said something about health this person looks bandaged but when i get the goat man this is who they signed up for like the the consequences that come with being contractually bound to something so negative it's like they have to take it up with this one yeah whatever that thing is that they made a deal with energetically it's around and it's like that little friend <laughs> that they have now it's not really a friend it's like they have to answer here to something something here is like karmically balanced in a way oh my god you see and the seven of wands is like protection you know what's protected i see an ace of pentacles and the two of cups with the king of cups somebody here could be in a divine partnership that is granted a new beginning while this person deals with the gold man yeah again something about don't do unto others what you don't want to have done to you when I get the justice card falling out first thing, y'all, listen. Don't be messing with that stuff. Don't do it. These Halloweenies, they're all Halloweenies. I don't know what y'all doing, but don't be a hollow weirdo on Halloweenie, okay? Not on this year channel. Let's get some angel messages, please. Lighten this air because <sighs> Lord knows people need it in this year's season. This year's season? <laughs> it's like, dang, like the way these cards speak is like attached to the hip with problems. Yeah. Hanging in there. Yeah. It's like, let what is meant for you come to you. here's the message release and surrender we shower you with blessings of our radiant love open your arms and release the challenges that you've held tightly gripped within your hand open your hands arms and heart to our love and assistance this could be for a person who has undergone a lot of like spiritual attack there's nothing to worry about yeah man Y'all, this is like a soft reminder for somebody who feels like they've been under attack by a person. Don't worry about a thing. Because mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, every little thing. Anyways, those are my Jamaican ancestors. There's nothing to worry about. You are safe. And this situation is under perfect control of divine providence and universal order. Do you hear that? <laughs> That felt so good to say, because that's what I was trying to explain when I see Justice Hierophant. Um, I was like, this is like the upstairs courts sitting down and being like, hey, yo, listen, this ain't right. Okay, we have divine order and this energetic balance to restore. I will say it again. You are safe in this situation is under the perfect control of divine providence and universal order. Only infuse loving thoughts and emotions into the situation to, un to ensure that the highest possible outcome flows effortlessly, effortlessly to and through you. Don't be out here wishing this person any negativity because I promise you whatever negativity they've wished onto you is what they're wishing onto themselves. And it's like, 
send healing energy at this point because this person is taking a very big L this season, okay? For some of you, this person has been doing this to you for years. I mean, this is a very big L. And it's, it's like paying the piper here. Paying the piper. This is you paying the piper and ten swords, the devil, and nine wands. It almost feels like they're around to feel pain. You know when it's the kind of like ish where it's like I just wish I wasn't here. To, yo, I'm getting this this. This feeling of it's like, wow, I wish I wasn't around to like have to experience this. But it's like this kind of torturous situation where they have to be around, but they're just like not having a good time. And it's like, man, I wish like th this is this person's energy. It's like they don't want to live to see something happen. That kind of hatred is here. Um, Something just feels like, you know, terrible. And it, it has everything to do with whatever they wished on to this person. Where are we? 51 minutes? Yeah, I wanted to know where the viewer is at. You're in Six of Cups energy. Wow, for some of you, this is a divine soulmate. Ayo, which are you serious? <laughs> all of this for all of this for this. Like two cups, six cups. This could be a twin flame situation or a soulmate situation. This could be over a man or a woman, which are you serious, <laughs> right? There's something here that is divinely orchestrated or like, oh, stop, stop. When I get, when I tie dots in illustrations or when they're like showing me something, what do you see in this card? What do you see in this card? For some of you, someone here has like offspring to come. It's like whoever this little egg belongs to. It's like the divine. It's also linked to transformation. Snakes are big on transformation, but it's like... There's something special here about these two coming together. Listen. And both of them need to step up for this. Mm -hmm. I'm going to leave it there, y'all. This was an interesting reading. If this reading resonated, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, bye.